basically uh, be no black here, folks. And this is basically holy sheet, holy sheep shit, and holy old fudge and all kinds of crap. Because I'm telling you what, you talk about a shadow and overcasting, and uh, <laughs> there's something freaking freaky down there. Uh, this is down in Davis Station in Antarctica, and I think they either are trying to scare whatever the hell is coming by, or they just get scared shitless. <laughs> it might get too close or something. Check this shadow that comes over. Watch right here. What the hell is that? Check these, like... Is it a sun? Is it a what? You get a, almost too much of a good look right there. As it's coming across this green. Looks like a catwalk. And no, folks, it's not a ship pulling up. You want to see the ships? The ships are over here. They come in in the broken lanes and the ice. That's a big ass ship over there, okay? This is a big ass object in space coming over or in the sky. It shadows the whole goddamn place. Just like we've been seeing down in. And look how everybody just, everybody gets out. Everybody gets out and takes a look when it's coming. Okay? Okay, and it wasn't a cloud coming over, okay? No, it wasn't. It was not a cloud coming over. Okay, I mean, the clouds come over. And that's why I'm even watching the sky over there. Okay. Now, there's a bright spot, too, where the sun comes up. When the sun's already out. And I think it's coming up. There it is. The whammo. You see the clock up there. And I don't know if that's UTC or what it is. I don't know if it's local down there time or what they go by. Then there's more shadowy action that comes in front of the sun. Okay? So here you go. Here's that big, and then what I'm saying is you can see that. So it's like, what the hell is that? Is it a smoldering, dying star? Let it have that, because it looks like flames or some damn thing up there. And what's stupid as hell is why hasn't somebody took a camera out down there and leaked something out? So, something massive in the sky, okay, because it's basically, and that's what's really freaky, folks. It, okay, that's sun cloud cover there, okay? So watch the horizon, even though we're, we're watching here, but even still watch the horizon, okay? So as you can see, it wasn't the cloud cover, because the cloud cover starts coming in there, okay? There comes the cloud cover, okay? That's the cloud cover. And I think th these, th these lights are on photo eyes, okay? It almost makes the left wall pack, almost, I'm an electrician, so it almost makes this left wall pack come on. See that one? Just about opening it up and just about lighting the light up, and it didn't. And then later on, these lights come on. Trying to get it to right to the front. There, it's right to the front. And here it comes. Then it starts shadowing there. And it comes across. And you see that big, just drives you nuts for wanting to know what the damn thing looks like. Because you can see some kind of, see that? Like smoldering or something coming over. I'm really thinking we got a smoldering dying star coming real slow. See how fast it's moving, okay? So it comes across there. So it's it's slow. It's moving slow. And it's like a smoldering sun. Smoldering planet. Smoldering, smoldering dying star that rises and sets. Either that or it's like I'm saying is the idea our rotation takes it toward it. So the idea it's just like Cantaris, Rigel Cantaris B. But see, this isn't... This isn't Rigel Kintar speed. This is what that damn. This is the damn darkness that's in front of it. It's the baby dwarf star, baby blue Kachina or some damn thing. Check that out as it comes across. It's just so intriguing because you get a nice glimpse of what the hell is something is smoldering or burning on it or some damn thing, or it's got hairs. It's like that bottom tentacle that we see or something. So, the 
ships that have been going over there have been catching it. So they get pretty much 24 hours of daylight down there this time of year. So that's not the sun, folks. Or well, hang on. Let's 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 eat that comment for a second. You know, hey, we can be wrong a lot. I can be wrong. I'm human. But now check this out. If it is UTC time. But hang on, that's not AM, is it? So they're just that's regular AM because they're not giving us y y military time there. Okay, so the shadow comes over at about 10, 11, 25, 50. Let's see when that other sun comes up. That should be AM. That's, so that should be. Well, I don't believe the sun should be rising that damn hard. This player is kind of a pain in the ass because it doesn't go to right where you want it to. So we're gonna have to really keep an eye on it this time see what time a.m. that that comes up. The bright sunshine. We're getting into the p.m. now. We're getting a.m. So now we're coming up and at three, three something. And then we get a big shot. Let's see, I can't know. Man. Can I drag it? Can I drag it? Can I drag it? No, I can't drag it because it just keeps going. And then it goes all the way back to the beginning, so... I guess I can fast forward. Hang on. See, that starts at something s 6 or so a.m. or something. Exactly, it starts at 6 something a.m. down there. 6.30 is looks like the closest I can get it to the front. 6.30 a.m. So when we get this bunched footage up here, let it play real fast. And there she comes again. Pretty wild, huh? Big ass. Big ass something up there in front of Rigel Cantaris B. And the sun. 3 something a.m. So I caught her enough there because I was just watching the clock. So at 3 something a.m. And that's pretty much exactly what we get down at Nehemiah Station too. The 1 to 3 GMT. So I'm figuring that this is GMT clock. But not 100 hours. Basically just a.m. p.m. So watch as we get to 3 a.m. 1, 2, 3 a.m. There it comes. See? So it's, it is the second sun. And more than likely it's the Earth turn to that. Rigel Cantaris B, and then another sun at six something. So, and that's real low to the ground. So, was that what we've seen at the Hawaii footage that I gave you earlier today? Let me go to that video. Okay, you got the beginnings of it right here. You're gonna see this come across the sky. Basically, looks like a constellation, or it's a comet or an asteroid belt. And it comes across. It's pretty wild to watch. It's gonna move. Pretty, it's gonna be real fast. You see it? It doesn't matter. It's there. You have to go back and freeze it and look. And go back and look at it. So otherwise, there's really nothing much important down there. But the idea you do see it go across the sky. It moves pretty fast here. See, there you go. There's one. So I guess you see it come by twice. If you watch the sky. I have to rewind it for that first one here, become the second one. It'll be coming across the sky here in a minute. All right, guys, it's at the very beginning, but anyway, there you go. Anyway, we locked up here, and in the future, we're going to show you this down here. And also the retrieve personnel. Retrieve personnel. So the idea that this is pretty much the ships that go in, so... And you can see tetrahydrin there, and a tetrahydrin over here on the ice pack as whatever is coming up at 8.31 p.m. So 
we're going to try to get out of here and then I'll try to give you something on this for a video tomorrow but I'm locked okay maybe somebody tried to hide something at the very beginning of the movie though but uh, this is actual coming through okay so you can see that there's two suns coming up or there's two something coming up check it out Okay, I'm freezing back, and they, they think they just started. I mean, they don't just turn the lights on and off, folks. Basically, that's, see those tetrahydrons on the ground? I keep backing up to what time it is. You take your guess on that, but it's like 8.01 p.m. or something I keep backing up to. That keeps giving that black, dark. Okay, so they are getting a freaky freaking show when the sun comes up. And it's more than one sun. And it's like a pair of baby dwarfs in front of each one of them or something like that. Really freaky. So you can see those tetrahydrons I had in a second ago. Now check this out. Let's let it play. So I don't think i got much time left, so... I'm sure that's weather and stuff like that, but that's rise and, s rise and fall of the sun. Suns. Okay, I guess they got spotlight action maybe at night. So you got it. No, that's not spotlight action. That's what's coming up and going down down there. Just like I said. Pretty wild. So those sh ship uh, workers have got a uh, heck of a story. So... The action while they're unloading. There you go, there's one sun coming up. So I'll back it up and put the disclaimer at the end of this, and there you go, there's that dark in front of that sun, and that was at what time AM? I don't know if I got video to record that. Backing up. There she comes. There was one before that I don't know. And that's basically in the PM hour and then Up at the up to 3 a.m. again. Same thing we're getting in Nehemiah. Okay, so here we go. We've got 13 minutes, and we end up with this at the end. Of this is this will be it. I don't know if I'm getting the sound right now or not. So you're getting whatever there. Wow, so a different angle. So. You're going to have more fun than me because I'm not going to have time to look at this tonight. So the idea if someone wants to sit and watch and go through that, I don't know what time. Or if the ship moved when it was... Because it looks like it comes two different angles in. So... Way more proof we got way more than one sun right now. Pino blackout, and we'll get the disclaimer on here. Okay, we also got this personnel retriever, too. Doesn't look like they bring as much cargo or whatever, but anyway, it's name difference, so we'll see that tomorrow or something like that uh, if there's some action in it. So later, Pino blackout. Have a good evening and good day tomorrow. Thanks. Bye. It is the 15th of 2011. 11 15, 2011. Legal disclaimer. Thank <laughs> you.